Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first we want to select this background solid layer and look here. Then select this background 3 and background 2 and 1. And let's press P. Let's move to down all these layers and go to solo. Let's make new person in keyframes and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or click here, right plus 10 click OK and let's move to up go to 10 keyframes again move to down again go to 10 keyframes move to up and again move to down and again go 10 keyframes move to up so we have more keyframes for make very smooth and bones animation so let's enable here title action save okay and let's see so Right now, select these all two frames and make easy let's animation. Okay, so let's select these last two frames. Let's see. Okay, let's move to up a little bit. Go to 10 two frames, move to down, and again move to up. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. So let's close settings and unsolo these layers so select this background one and ctrl d for duplicate and select this object one move the middle like this here and let's see okay and go to here last few frames and select this object one and shape one let's link to background one okay so in this time, select this object 1 and click toggle switch modes. Change non to alpha might background 4. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, let's make some of our other layers. Select this background 2. Let's control D. Select object 2. Move to inside here and change non to alpha mat. Select this shape 2, layer clock and object 2. Link to background 2. Okay, that's good. And finally, select this background 3. Ctrl D for duplicate, select this object 3. Move the inside background layers and change non to alpha mat background 6. And select this shape 3, object 3, link to background 3 layer. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's select this layer object 1 and go to solo let's move the anchor point down clusation tool and unsolo and right now let's press air open rotation chain rotation like this and make rotation keyframe go to 10 keyframes chain rotation like this go to 10 keyframes chain to back again okay select keyframes make easy and let's see Okay, let's change this keyframe like this. Okay, let's select this last keyframe and delete. And right now, let's go to first second. Hold Shift, press P, and make new passing keyframe. Move to down and go to here. Let's move to up and select two frames. Make easy. Okay, select these rotation two frames. Move to right. Okay, that's good. So. Right now, select these Q frames and let's see timing. Let's move to left these Q frames. Okay, that's good. 
and in this time select is background one object one and background four and let's move to here then select is shape one also move to right here and press s click this icon make sketch frame and move to here let's move to right and go to back chain scale zero select two frames make easy and go to graph editor and go to here let's select edit speed graph and select this graph make smooth and move to right this last few frame okay so and let's move to left this layer let's see timing Okay, select this object one and we can move to the left more. Nice, that's good. So, select this background two, object two, and background five, and layer clock, shape two. Move to right here. And select this background three, object three, and these layers. Move right, for now. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left a little bit. Okay, that's good. So, select this layer clock. Let's link to object 2 and select object 2. Let's see. Okay, and press S, change scale 0, make scale keyframe, go to here, change 100. And select keyframes, make easy. And move to right a little bit this layer. Okay, and go to pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Clicization tool. And right now, hold shift, press air, open rotation, make rotation keyframe, chain rotation 25, and go to here, change minus 10, and go to here, change 5, and here, minus 2, and here. 1 and finally 0. Select rotation keyframes, make easy. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left a little bit. Okay, I like it. So, select these three layers and move to left here. Okay, and select this AFL. Let's go to solo. Move the anchor point here. Clicization tool and unsolo. Press R, chain rotation like this. And make rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes. Change rotation. And again, go to 10 keyframes. Let's change this rotation 0. And go to 10 keyframes. Change minus 2 or minus 4 go to 10 keyframes again change 0 go to again 10 keyframes change minus 2 again 0 select keyframes make easy so this keyframes for bones animation okay select keyframes go to graph editor and let's select this graph move to right nice and select last few frames, hold alt, move to left. Okay, that's good. So go to here and hold shift press S, make sketch few frame and go to back, change zero. Very good. Okay, so select this object three and Move to the left. Let's press U, select Q frames, move to the left like this. Nice, very good. And let's select this layer, press S, select this Q frames, copy and select this layer. Control V for paste. 
and this control v4 pairs okay very nice so in this time let's select these again background layers and don't forget to select this background background 4 link to background 1 and select background 5 link to background 2 and background 6 link to background 3 and select these backgrounds background 1 2 and 3 let's press p and in this time make new person keyframes and go to some keyframes and let's move to here and this move to here and this move to left so go to back and again hold she press s make scale keyframe and go to here let's change scale and this Hold Shift press S, make sketch keyframe, go to next keyframe, change scale and go to back here, select this background 3, hold Shift press S, make sketch keyframe and go to here, change scale like this and move to left and select person keyframes, make easy or click F9 and let's see okay so let's select these all two frames go to graph editor and zoom to graph let's make graphs smooth and let's see nice and select last two frames let's move to the left okay not bad so back to keyframes and let's see timing. Okay, so select keyframes, move to the left like this. Okay, we have problem with these layers. Let's see. Let's select this background 4 and press U for C keyframes and select all keyframes delete. Let's say again. Okay, nice. Also make someone for these layers, select background 5, press U and go to back, select keyframes delete. Nice, very good. So close keyframe settings. Okay, that's good. And right now, let's close these keyframes. Let's select these elements. Go to enable. And right mouse, pre compass, add name, elements. Click OK. And hide composition. Then select this character. Let's enable here. And let's select these character layers. Move to right. And let's see. Okay. And select this hand 2, let's link to body, select hand 1, link to also body, select eyes, link to head, select head, link to body. And select body, go to pen behind, move the anchor point down, click session 2, and press S, chain scale, move it down, and chain scale more. Okay, let's change to back. Okay, so select this background shape and press S, change scale like this. Okay, select this background shape, press P and let's move to the left. And in this time, make new passing in keyframe and go to back move to right select two frames make easy let's move right and select this background one layer press u for see keyframes and move to here select two frames go to graph editor and make graph easy
Okay, let's see this part. Nice, very good. So back to keyframes and select this body layer. Let's select all these character layers. Move to here. And select body. And let's press P. Move to back. Make new passing keyframe and go to here. Let's move to left. And select keyframes, make easies. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Make graph like this. Okay, back to keyframes and in this time, hold shift, press air, open rotation, make rotation keyframe. And change rotation like this. Go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation, go to again 10 keyframes, change 5. Again, change minus 2. Again, change 0. Take rotation keyframes, make easy. Okay, so take last keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Nice. And in this time, select this hand 2. Go to solo. And go to pen behind. Move the anchor point up here. And let's click this icon and click off final quality click station 2 and unsolo and right now hold shift press air make rotation keyframe chain rotation like this and go to here change rotation again go to here chain like this so this random keyframes can make your keyframes sort of like you and select keyframes make easy let's say animation Nice, very good. And select this passport layer, select this hand one, go to solo and move the anchor point up here, click station two and unsolo. And in this time, press air, open rotation, make rotation keyframe, chain rotation like this, and go to here, change hand, and go to here. Change like this again. Go 10 keyframes and say keyframes make easy. And select last keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Nice, very good. And select this hit, go to solo, move the anchor point down, click station 2 and unsolo. And in this time, press R, make rotation keyframe, chain rotation like this, go to 10 keyframes. Let's move right this keyframe. And change like this again. Say keyframes make easy. Okay, that's good. Say it is I, press S, click this icon. And make scale keyframe, go to 3 keyframes, 1 to 3. For go to step by step keyframes, press page down in keyboard. And change scale 5, go to 3 keyframes, 1 to 3, change 100. Let's see. Nice. This is a blink animation. And make keyframes easy. And let's copy keyframes, go to here, Control V for paste. And let's change this background shape layer, select this background shape and go to FX presses, search effect fill, select fill, let's use background shape and let's use this yellow color. Nice, very good. And close title action save. Very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!